Give me exactly 10 minutes and I will help you understand the very core basics of the smart money concept. Let's get straight into the video without wasting any time. Now, if you're trading ICT concept, you need to know this. This is the very basic of everything that is contained in the ICT concept. Now look at it. The first thing is understanding market structure where you discuss price delivery algorithm. And then the second thing is to understand liquidity. The third thing is to understand institutional reference point. And then you talk about entry. The ICT concept is an entire curriculum. If you say you want to learn everything there, it takes you years, but these are the very core basics. It's not everything that there is there, but this alone can help you understand how to trade with the smart money concept. So let's start by discussing what is market structure. Now, market structure have three elements. When you say you have market structure, you will need to have something called an uptrend, a downtrend or a consolidation so let's start by sketching everything on this whiteboard and then we will go to the chart and then you will see it practically you will see how to apply every single concept i'm going to show you right here so let's start with an uptrend an uptrend is said to be formed when we have a series of higher highs okay and a higher low so when you hear people talk about an uptrend this is actually a formation of an uptrend and why do we call it an uptrend is because we have seen a willingness from this trend to keep going up, to keep pushing above and seek liquidity. Because what really moves this market is the liquidity. So we see price moving above and pushing to that side. I'm going to come to where you see liquidity. We will talk about break of structure. Now, whenever you see market forming this, this is a low, but this low is higher than this low. That's why we call it a higher low. Okay, this is a higher high. This high is higher than this. That's why we call it a higher high. And then this is a higher low. This is a higher low. So whenever you see this, you are said to have an uptrend. So you will see it on the chart shortly when I go to the chart. And then secondly, we are said to have a downtrend when we have a series of higher lows. Now, this thing is applicable whether you're trading stocks, whether you're trading Forex, whatever asset class you're trading, this is very profitable for you. So make sure you watch everything. Now, this is an example of a downtrend. Why do we call it a downtrend? It is simply because we have a lower low and then this is a lower high. So this is what we call a lower low, a lower high. This is a low, but it is above this, a lower low and then a lower high. So this is what we call a downtrend. Now, let me show you where you can see break of structure and then you can see market shift. Now, when you hear people talk about break of structure, for instance, in this uptrend, for you to have a continuation in the movement of this particular market, you will need to see that this movement from here to here, as this one pushes, just look at this level, this last high that was formed, as a strong wall where you have a difficulty the moment you see the push from here breaks above this level this area precisely we are said to have a break of structure because we have broken above this this is like a resistance level so this is what we call a break of structure and then you have another one that pushes above this place we breached above this level with a very strong movement and then we said to have a break of structure let me mark it out for you so you can see if you see a break of structure it is simply price trying to push harder to find liquidity what is liquidity it is simply money liquidity is simply money and then why are they pushing for money is because they are looking for money in the market whether you're trading crypto stocks or whatever these institutions are looking for money the smart money they are looking for money so every time they push above it is simply because they are looking for money above these levels and these are the areas where people are putting their money because it is simply where people are putting their stop losses if you are selling from here your stop loss is around here let me show you where stop loss is just above here these are where stop losses are and that is why they are pushing all above and above to grab money to look for money so this is why these things happen and then if you go to a downtrend, this thing is also the same thing. Down here is where money is, okay? This is where the money is. And then they push and break below this level and break below this level. And this is why we call it a break of structure. 
this one they break below this level and this is why we call it a break of structure okay so every time they do this it is simply because they are seeking for liquidity they are looking for money if you are buying from here you're definitely going to put your stop loss here and many other people so the more they push the more they get money okay and then the last element is what we call a consolidation neither an uptrend nor a downtrend this happens as a result of accumulation when the smart money are trying to accumulate order neither up or down they are trying to gather as much order as they can before they move to another direction so whenever you see this you can call it a consolidation we have a mitigation block we have a breaker block i have actually discussed all these other ones in this very playlist you can find them but the most important ones that you should look out for is an order block and a fear value gap i'm going to show you that so when you see price coming back as price push above and break structure it will come back to look for an institutional reference point either an order block or a fear value gap this is the ones i use there are many other ones but i use these ones because they are the most simplest ones you can find so let's go to the chat briefly and then you can see what i'm saying look at what is happening right here from here market push to this level okay you can see this is a break of structure okay at this level this is a break of structure and we can see it we have broken above this level for you to identify a structure you can see this is let me expand this a bit you can see from here to here the last level is where you can see is your structure and then when you have the body of the candle push above this level you can see to have a break of structure so this is a higher high a higher low and then we have another push above structure here let me show you that right here okay you can see this one you can see that the body of the candles here this green candle the body of this particular green candle has actually broken above here so we can say to have a break of structure i'm trying my best to explain this to you so all this we have lower low we have higher low higher low and then we have another break of structure here we have another break of structure where did we see this break of structure this green candle has actually pushed above so we can say this is a break of structure because we can literally see it another one is this we can see break of structure here okay we can see break of structure happened here so this is how we can identify break of structure and then we can see higher high higher low higher high higher low another higher high you're going to see it like this let me just adjust it so you can see so this is how we can see market structure forming this is another break of structure above this level you can see okay so this is a break of structure so every time market breaks above is because they are looking for liquidity above here this is the buy side liquidity because the people selling from here this is where they put their money remember i said liquidity is money so every time they break above they move so the next time they came back so let me show you how they come back to look for an order block or a fair value gap so look at what happened here after this break of structure okay let me bring it closer so you can look just an example after this break of structure we have a higher low okay and then we have a break of structure remember i told you that it will retrace back to an institutional reference point and i said i mostly use an order block or a fair value gap now what is an order block the last cell candle this cell candle let me expand it so you can see the last cell candle that was printed before price push above look at it this is the last cell candle so the retracement will always want to come back to the last cell candle this last cell candle you can see as price came back it just retraced back because this is the order block when you say order block the word block simply means large transaction okay so there was a large transaction that occurred here and price wants to come back and fill in the rest of the orders that were left here so price came back after breaking structure let me make it more visible after breaking structure around this area price actually came back and seek this order block so this is our entry point so this is the reason why we trade an order block so whenever you want to take trade and you just look for an order block and confidently wait for price to come back to this area 
then you want to see price push above it let me adjust it for you your stop loss is always below the order block you don't want to see price push below the order block no matter what happened and actually price move above this area okay see another one here let me show you as many as you can see this is an example of an uptrend i hope i'm able to do this within just 10 minutes so i can just keep my promise this is a downtrend okay a downtrend is simply this one we have a break of structure here okay and you can see the body of the candle pushed below it then this is an example of a consolidating market neither up nor down look at this we have a consolidation right here okay all this one is a consolidating market or you can even push it to this area you can see them as much as you can see so at this area is an accumulation after a consolidation what happens normally is that price may decide to either move up or down depending on the direction it is coming if it is coming from here from downtrend it can decide to continue or it can decide to change direction to the other side okay so let me go to my mt5 and then you're going to see this is another chart it's just the same thing happening time and time again break of structure above here and then you can see break of structure let me adjust it properly so you can see so after a break of structure what you look out for is to see price retrace back to an institutional reference point either an order block or a fair value gap now you can see this price actually push above here this is it price push above here we had a break of structure okay and then this is an order block let me show you an order block the last red candle that was printed this is an order block so we will expand it so you can see it properly this is an order block we had a break of structure here price pushed above and it came back and tested the order block and then it moved up so we look for an order block for price entry or a fair value gap this is an example of a fair value gap a fair value gap is simply an imbalance as a result of price delivery this is it this is the fair value gap okay so this is how the smart money concept works break of structure okay seek liquidity above as it breaks structure and then it retraces back to an institutional reference point those four key points i shared with you they are the very foundation of everything you need to know about the smart money concept let me show you them again so you can see them let me just adjust it a bit market structure where we have a uptrend with a break of structure or market shift and then we have liquidity as it breaks structure it seeks liquidity above okay and then it comes back to an institutional reference point either an order block or a fair value gap and then you have entry from there and i showed you an example as such so this happens time and time and time again as you trade in the financial market i hope you look out for all the other videos in this playlist there are more explanatory videos that you can see thank you guys for watching if you have any question for me let me know in the comments see you in the next video